Hello, this is Dr. Maria Harriet Stack um, again. Um, I'm just, I've managed to actually um, get up this morning because I've been on bed rest um, and uh, you know, on the direction of my doctors here and as a consultant, I'm under a consultant as uh, one of the main uh, private hospitals here in um, Spain, but obviously I can't give you my destination. But uh, they are really absolutely fantastic. But I do have to follow my doctor's uh, advice, so I haven't been able to engage with um, this beautiful uh, facilities in this beautiful hotel until this morning. And um, so I was able um, to come down for breakfast because they uh, brought up my breakfast to me to my um, beautiful room. Um, you know. Uh, whilst I was recovering from the flight, uh, long flight in the sense of um, getting to the aircraft and um, was this, um, an ordeal um, getting to the airport uh, took quite some time as well as um, obviously boarding the aircraft. There was a delay um, unexpectedly because obviously the skies are uh, full of aircraft uh, during holiday seasons and getting a slot is not that easy um, for any airline and um, you know, it's, it's miraculous how they can depart even half an hour late because um, the skies are full of air traffic control has to be so careful um, with slots that Obviously, uh, no passenger is in danger um, of uh, of a, uh, a near miss or a miss, as we call it in aviation. So here we are. Um, just um, I'm, I'm just letting you know what it is like here. It really is quite special, and um, the sun is just you know so pleasant. But it is not too hot, and the um, Everybody is very, very pleasant and very respectful and tells me how beautiful I am and how well-dressed I am and how respectful I am uh, to their staff. And why wouldn't I be? Uh, because they really are. And we just have just uh, some, um, you know, so you just have a view there of, of, of everything, how immaculately clean everything is. Um, they're very uh, con uh, you know, conscious of food hygiene and um, you know you can just see that you don't I don't have to tell you I am just you know just showing you the um, the restaurant um, breakfast restaurant the cafe and it's a lovely little place I guess <laughs> I'm not sure who's, who sits here but it's really a beautiful um, part and there's a lovely lady there um, who's uh, in charge of um, you know this, this section it's just such a beautiful part and you know oh the pink is just oh uh, it's so beautiful I'm drawn to pink uh, obviously because it's a color I like um, it's so it's such an uplifting color and um, just beautiful little photos there uh, and pictures on the walls, all very bright colours to, you know, just give you that fantastic um, feeling of, you know, re relaxation. Uh, now they are, I am the last person in the restaurant here, um, so I'm getting privileged, I'm privileged to be allowed to, just to tell you and show you how beautiful you know it is and um you know just the high standards that this uh, uh hotel has um you know um really it is uh, just so beautiful and i i am really privileged to be a guest of course they say to me they're privileged to have me a guest so that's quite nice of them to say that. i love that that pink girl because i was bored to see to be surrounded by pink it's just so lovely and so grateful so you know it's all just so redone so beautifully done so i just wanted to show you what a nice 
place this is. It's not just a beautiful tree, and it's, it's just all like that. And, um, you know, everybody is welcome, everybody's respected, um, human rights are everywhere, um, there's no discrimination, um, everybody is welcome. Um, and I think it, it just ups the tone um, because when there's no discrimination, there's no rights as it were as we see in England. Uh, you know, um, we've had rights and really, yes, there, there are, you know, uh, people that shouldn't be doing it, but a lot of it is a sense of discrimination that they do not have access to you know, to, the, to jobs. They don't have access to things that, you know, they thought they would be entitled to growing up. And now somehow there's a roadblock to them. So it's not as simple as their tough hugs, etc. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that everybody involved in the rights um, are extremists. I think there is a message that they're trying to give um, and people have to listen instead of locking them all up and silencing, silencing them all. Uh, uh, but I do agree that, you know, I'm totally anti-violence because <laughs> to be quite honest, I couldn't, I'm too weak to do anything anyway <laughs> in a violent uh, capacity, but I don't agree with violence. Um, but somehow, somehow, you know, people get to the end of their tether and they wonder, nobody's listening nobody cares and you know i know myself that my videos that nobody gives a damn because i have to throw paint on somebody or you know you know like these people um they get heard and the music goes all over them um uh, because they're violent and they cause a stir but doing a video on the internet nobody gives a damn so oh another video who cares next well, I'm not like that. Uh, I just keep on doing what I'm doing, keep on um, promoting human rights, and um, one day, one day justice um, will prevail. My name is Dr. Maria Harriet Stack. I'm the leading human rights campaigner in the world. I uh, can't reveal the destination that I'm now in. But um, I do have problems with technology at the moment. So I'm sorry that some of my um, videos, uh, I can't uh, engage with, um, you know, comments and et cetera, because of the problems with um, uh, um, technology that I'm having at the moment, uh, because obviously I'm not um, at home. So once again, I do apologize to my um, esteemed, um, uh, first connections or f Facebook friends um, that I can't uh, comment etc uh, because of, because of uh, technology and I'm just depending on um, just an iPhone and usually I have uh, you know top of the range computers to you know see what's going on so to speak uh, in my feed so it's goodbye for me um, from an unknown destination in mainland Europe and I'll talk to you very soon indeed.